And to a third one, students at the Akentina Pia Minka University of Skills Training and Entrepreneurial Development in the Ashanti region have expressed a range of opinions regarding the recent rituals performed by students at various residence halls within the university. This discussion arises following a tragic incident on August 25, 2023, where the chief priest of Upukuwari, the second hall, Prosper Owusu, sustained severe injuries and ultimately lost his life while conducting one such ritual. Edward Opomafo, a city news bureau chief for the Middle Belt, and he has more details. According to City News sources, Prosper Usu, a third year mathematics student at Amsterdam, had been leading a group of students at Opokuwa in the second hall in performing these rituals. Typically, they gathered in front of the hall, ignited fires, and engaging in ritualistic activities to entertain a session of all-looking students who cheered them on. Tragically, on the 9th of Friday, August 25, 2023, Prosperus's attire caught fire during one such ritual, resulting in severe injuries. He was immediately rushed to the Confonology Teaching Hospital for treatment, but sadly succumbed to his injuries a week later. In the wake of this incident, students who occasionally partake in these fiery rituals as part of their recreational activities were shocked by the tragic outcome. One student, Speaking anonymously to City News, recounted the events leading up to the accident. Um, I think it was last week Friday. Um, there is um, a German group here called, we call them Dons. And they have their annual celebration that they do, some normal things that they do. Every Friday? No, not every Friday. They do their um, German activities on every Friday, but on that particular program, they, they do it on every year. I think, I don't know the actual data they used to do, but then it's an annual thing that they do. So I think he's the um, head priest for the dons. And then on that day, he was performing his usual rituals and all that. So, and then they use some, some I don't know, materials to create fire and then works with them. So he was working around the fire as, as usual, as a priest, you need to try and then do some antics for people to be like happy about the whole occasion. So when it was going on, he had um, a cloth on, I don't really know how the material was. So he was walking around the fire, the cloth caught the fire. He wasn't, I think he wasn't aware. He didn't see it in the first place. So it was later that he realized that he was burning, the fire was all around him, and then he couldn't take off the clothes, so he had to run to um, a place for them to help him quench the fire. So basically that was what happened. But while it was happening, you were watching, what was going through your mind? Actually, in the, they, they do it normally, and then I think they have some normal artificial flames that they use every time. So most of us thought it was the normal artificial flames that they use. We didn't know that it was actual fire until the situation excluded that we, we got to know that, oh, this was an actual thing happening. Until he started um, shouting and then running around, finding water and all that. That was when we all got to know how intense the situation was. Following the incident, there have been calls for the discontinuation of such activities within the university. City News interviewed students, and while some advocate for the preservation of these practices as a source of entertainment, others vehemently demand their cancellation. It's really dangerous, and then, um, but I do not think it should be cancelled completely. No, that's one. That's one I disagree. Just that the part that is dangerous should be excluded in the activities. That's all. Which aspect? like the fire, using cutlass, those incantations and all the invasive authorities. Well, I think they need to sit down and then um, with uh, the people that do these things and have a brief talk with them uh, as to uh, certain parts they should exclude and certain parts that they shouldn't do. So they should just have a brief talk with them and that would do. As for me, I think it should be cancelled. Uh, why am I saying that? Because I don't know the, that social group. Why is it contributing to the school? Even those who are joining that group, why are they benefiting from it? So at the end of the day, look at the incident that has happened. Why the positive of it? It doesn't bring anything, right? It's just for socialization, fun. And at the end of it, what are you going to get from it? 
if you are going to get something positive from it, which, which is going to socialize or help you to develop, and even the school as such will get benefit from it there, then it should be continued. But if nothing from it, just for fun there, then I think it should be, uh, we shouldn't hold on to that, uh, that thing again. I want the authorities of the school to cancel it, because it doesn't, the school doesn't get any benefit from it. And at the end of the day, it will cause you a shame. Because looking at this incident, it will be a shame to the school for what has happened. So I don't think the school, the school should cancel it. Yes. I, mean, I don't think those things should be cancelled because once you have moved from your house to here to learn, all those things are part of learning. We are learning from different people from different worlds. So we should entertain that. Just that we should be mindful of doing those things. Just like this, the, the one that happened just recently. You are using petrol on the fire. The petrol is on your on your this thing, your shirt and you are playing with fire. You know it is very harmful and and very dangerous to do all those things. Mm, but me I don't think it should be cancelled. But we should be mindful as a students to, to, to those things. Meanwhile, university authorities have initiated an investigation into the incident. The school's management in a statement confirming the occurrence has also urged students to abstain from engaging in activities that could jeopardize their safety and lives.